Good morning. It's Saturday morning. Back at the paint project. Being rascal. Um, I've been up for quite a while. What time is it? It's quarter to ten. I went through the house and gave it a little bit of a tidy. Things were piling up on me and just in disarray. So I cleaned up my little mess from last night. I had a bunch of drywall. I see a little piece sitting there. Throw that in the garbage. And back at this, my ceiling, it's not quite dry. And I do have other spots that I need to patch. So assessing the situation, what I'm going to do right now, because I have to wait till all my drywall is uh, repaired before I can move on to the painting. As much as I just want to start slapping it on, there's no point in painting until I get these drywall fixes done. Now this line along here, I, I mudded it, but it didn't work very well. So I'm going to cut that tape out and I'm going to replace it. But first thing I'm gonna do is get my sander out and go around to any little spots that I have touched up and sand them down. I've already done that kind of once and then found spots I missed. So I'm gonna do that again. So um, feeling much better today than I did yesterday. Um, what do they say? What a difference a day makes, 24 little hours. There was just stuff at work this week that, uh, you know, because we're all in this difficult situation and, you know, uh, things happen and you're like, what just happened there? <laughs> and just trying to figure out my own responsibility and things. And I want to leave this place knowing that I did the best I could and was helpful and kind and caring and considerate and you know even if sometimes I feel that uh, it's not reciprocated and I can, I'm not in other people's heads so I don't know what the reasons are and uh, just pray and God bless them and do my best to be a light in the world which is you know <laughs> made of flesh so it's not always easy but uh, I will keep trying. <laughs> So, I'm going to set my clock. Got my drywall tape out there. I'm gonna set my clock for 30 minutes and see where I'm at. Okay, 30 minutes. And put a piece of tape in. Just kind of a sample to see how it was going. And I think what I'm gonna do is <laughs> I measured the spot along here. I'm going to cut a piece of drywall tape and put the, the mud on it and then stick it up there. I think that's gonna be a smarter thing to do. So again, that's hard on my neck, but uh, that's okay. Um, I'm gonna take a little rest. I'm gonna take a five minute rest, so I'm gonna Set this clock for 35 minutes. I feel like I've made some good progress. Like I sanded and uh, now I'm at that. So we're making some good progress. Let's see where we're at in 35 minutes. Okay. Um, time is going off. I... <laughs> it did work a lot better when I put the drywall tape put the mud on the drywall tape and put it up. It actually, in my mind, doesn't look too bad. Now some professional mudder would see that and think, ugh. But I'm just gonna let it dry and then sand it lightly and see where we're at because, and I know it has to be primed and this hole, it had some gaps in it, so I just went over them again. And then I just mudded. I was going to take the tape out of there because it was loose, and then I thought, have you lost your mind? This is a closet, stop it. So I just kind of went over it again with some mud. And uh, I'm gonna just let that dry. What I'm gonna do now 
is I'm going to clean up. I'm going to clean up my messes. I'm going to tackle just any drywall that's on the floor. Just give it a good vacuum. I did go around and there was some more spots that were, you know, down to the, the cardboard. And they won't paint over very good. So I just, I know you can get some sort of treatment or something for that. But uh, like some kind of, I don't know, something lock. But uh, I'm not going out and buying a can of that because it's probably, who knows, $30, $40, something like that. And I'm trying to do this economically. Do as good a job as I can, but not spend a fortune on it. Because it is a spare bedroom. And I mean, once you paint it and like it doesn't have to be perfect. I, you know, nobody's got their eyeballs up against the wall. So uh, once it's painted, and looks fresh that'll make a world of difference but uh, I'm gonna clean up all my little messes here and then I think I'm gonna start tackling that stain just see if I can't you know do some treatment on it like I've heard uh, baking soda and vinegar so I think I'll start with that just uh, give it a good 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 vacuum and then just uh, kind of get some hot water and baking soda and vinegar and treat it. See where we're at. Just keep at it. Because uh, I got thinking about, I was looking at flooring and stuff like that. And if I'm putting new flooring in, I got to put it in all three rooms. So I can't just get it for one room. I'm not prepared to buy it for all three rooms at this time. So, you know, just kind of a snowball effect. So anyways, um... Again, I'm going to take a five-minute break. It's kind of hard on my neck, especially when I was in the closet there and I was patching things up and thinking, okay, realizing I'd kind of lost my mind a little bit trying to make things perfect and it's not going to be perfect. So we're just going to set it for 35 minutes, see where we're at. Okay, I got the bedroom vacuumed. I just uh, wanted to pick up all the bits and pieces and whatnot because I'm grinding them into the carpet. But uh, good news is I'm making some progress with this stain. It's not looking as bad as it did. Bad news is I ran out of baking soda. But I discovered if I pour hot boiling water you can see the dirt. You can see the carpet. But I know that's, uh, I'm making quite the mess there. And it's gonna take a long time, but it's working. So, I've got to, I gritted it off with duct tape just so I can work on one spot at a time kind of thing, one area. Um, and I know that's soaking the floor underneath, so, you know, I don't want to do the whole thing at once. But what I am going to do is continue on with this spot. I'm going to go boil another kettle of water. But uh, this is quite a difference around here. That was just black. I'm going to guess somebody spilled the pot at some point and it never got tended to. And just because it was under the bed, nobody noticed. So... But, I mean, it's not as horrific. This doesn't mean this carpet doesn't need to re be replaced. It does. But if I can make it look at least not so stained, then, then I'm happy with that for now. It's uh, better than nothing. Um, making progress. So, yeah, like I said, it'd be great if I could just get, you know, somebody in and do all my flooring and... Man, it'd be nice if I could just hire somebody to do everything, but I can't do that. So I have to make the best of what I got. So I'm going to boil this kettle. Take another break. <laughs> I need my five-minute breaks. So I'm going to guess that kettle is going to take at least 10 minutes to boil because I'm going to fill it right up to the top. So I'm going to give myself 40 minutes and come back and see where we're at. Okay. 10 minutes left, but I can't do any more. So, 
here's the water that came out of that. So I'm going to guess that's Coke. <laughs> Looks like Coke. There's my dirty rags. And here's the carpet. Good news is we're on to something. Bad news is, I mean, it's not going to salvage this carpet, but uh, it's going to, it's, it's a temporary solution. I mean, that is, I'm going to say at least 10%. Well, I don't know, 50% better than it was. Well, maybe that's optimistic, but uh, what happens is pour the hot water on it, kind of spreads it out. So it's just making the rest of the carpet dirty too, but at least it's not so dark in one spot. And all the other spots, like when the room's painted, I know that I've got a solution. So, um, or some, some kind of fix. So temporary fix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a fan on that because pouring the water straight, straight on the carpet like that is obviously getting the plywood underneath wet and I don't want it just sitting there wet so I'm going to put my fan on brought it up from the basement and uh, I'm going to call it a day for now it's 10 after 12 snow has stopped but we definitely got more and uh, I'm going to take a break I'm going to make something to eat and then I probably should try to get out this plant here is doing very well it's uh, thriving this one here is barely hanging on my girlfriend from uh, my girlfriend slash cousin from Australia she has an absolutely phenomenal garden and she told me just leave it alone and uh, don't water it let it dry out a bit and um, try to repot it if I can and because uh, she has the Gerber daisies in different colors and she said they they do come back sometimes, so I'm going to just kind of leave it alone for now and uh, wait till the real spring, see what happens. But again, <laughs> it's starting to look like a bit of a jungle in here, thinking I, I don't know, the one keeps falling over the hyacinth, but my goodness, does it ever smell nice. So yeah, that's it for me today, 10 after 12 and uh, did this, that and the carpet stain and making progress it's uh you know it's gonna probably take another weekend kind of thing um i doubt i don't know where i'll get at by the end of the weekend i might do some here let's look at the flowers instead i might do some more sanding and whatnot but i need that i want that carpet dry i don't want drywall dust going into that wet carpet so anyways that's it for me today have a great day